I've been wanting to shoot in the USPSA for a while now and I decided that this next year is going to be the year that I get started. So this is going to be the first video in a series of videos of things I do to prepare to shoot these uh, practical shooting competitions. So this video is going to be about needs, bare minimum that you need to be able to go to one of these shoots and uh, and uh, go through the course and shoot it. So first thing you're going to need is a is a pistol and uh, type of pistols I'm going to go over is the easiest division I think that would be to join and that's the production division. You're basically looking at a semi-automatic pistol that can hold a minimum of 10 rounds and that pistol needs to be on their list of production pistols. Most pistols will be on the list. Um, you just have to, you just want to verify that. But as you're looking for a pistol, uh, the minimum caliber needs to be 9 millimeter and there's really no reason to go higher than 9 millimeter if you're purchasing uh, a gun. Uh, the production division is scored as minor power factor only, so there's no reason to go to a higher caliber uh, to try to meet that that major power factor. So you need a uh, first thing you need is a pistol that holds minimum of 10 rounds, minimum caliber of 9 millimeter. Next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a holster, a belt holster that fits that pistol in it and um, you want a, a pistol the requirements is that it, it, it's got to be a belt holster it's got to cover the trigger so that you cannot actuate the trigger it also in production it, it needs to cover the barrel as you can see this one covers the the barrel part of the gun uh, you don't want something that's open in the front uh, more like a race holster that's that that won't qualify you for this division so you're going to need the gun, the holster, next thing you're going to need uh, will be magazines and I'm going to and you want magazines that hold a minimum of 10 rounds these are 17 round magazines these will work perfectly fine but in production division you're only allowed a maximum of 10 rounds in each magazine uh, when the buzzer starts so uh, and also you want to I'd say a minimum of four magazines from <clears throat> from what I can tell reading the manual is that a course, a maximum course, will have uh, the maximum that hits that could be required would be 32 hits, and that would bring you up to four magazines. Some people might want to have five in case they have a mag malfunction or if they drop a magazine, but you need a minimum of four magazines. Next thing you're going to need will be mag pouches. Uh, people could argue that you actually don't need mag pouches to go and shoot, and, and from what I understand, that's correct. You could actually throw these magazines in your pocket, in your back pocket, and run the course. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to just suggest this: is what I'm going to do, just to get started on trying to do this on a budget, is I'm going to get two of these mag holders that'll hold all four of my magazines. Um, these were twenty dollars a piece. Um, I got this from Five Eleven Gear, and if you look on the back it actually says blade tech and it's so it's actually made by blade tech but i bought it by 511 uh, the holster also is a blade tech holster that i bought so four magazines you're going to need mag pouches to hold those magazines now the next thing that you're going to need is you're going to need ammo that uh, fits your gun and also reaches minimum power factor now most factory ammunition should meet uh, minimum power factor and if you reload you're gonna you're gonna want to try to adjust your load so that it does but to, to make sure that your your bullet uh, reaches that the minimum power factor is 125 and to calculate that that's your bullet weight these are 115 grains times the velocity of uh, 1150 feet per second and then you divide that by a thousand and I'm running around 132 power factor which is above the 125 minimum so weight times velocity divided by a thousand gives you your power factor it needs to be above 125 this is the bare minimum that you need to be able to go shoot a match plus of course your eye protection and your hearing protection but I'm doing this on a budget, so these are twenty dollars a piece. I'm gonna get two of them. This was sixty dollars. So far, I got a hundred dollars in preparing for this. In uh, future videos, uh, probably.
probably my next video I'm going to go over uh, modifications that's allowable to the pistol and uh, what I plan on doing. So thanks for watching.